Hey coin collectors, Dan the Collecting Man here. Today uh, we're going to talk about the Lunar Bullion coins that have come out. So I wanted to go through some of the cool Lunar Bullion coins, some of the different sizes, uh, what are my thoughts around the, this year's Lunar Bullion coins as well. And one of the, some of the key prospects I think of the future for these coins as well, which is my favourite and which ones I think we should look at collecting uh, the most, uh, which one's going to potentially uh, give the best returns long term. So I thought I'd start with some of the key uh, facts around most of these bullion coins. So all of them uh, do have the special 125 uh, Privy Mark from the Perth Mint. So I think that's going to be pretty neat to have the 125 uh, year anniversary for the Perth Mint. That's uh, something that I think is very significant. So definitely good to have these coins. And I love the Lunar Dragons. I always think they are definitely the most uh, desirable. That and the the Tigers, uh, probably the two most desirable Lunar animals to collect. What I thought I'd do is i share through some of the key different sizes that I've got uh, and where I think uh, some of the key Value is going to be in the long term. So this is the half an ounce. So uh, personally, this is my first half an ounce uh, Lunar Series coin that I've ever got. So as you can see, it's pretty, pretty uh, small, uh, almost like a 50 cent coin kind of size. So this one does have a, a face value of 50 cents and it cost me around $24 at the time to buy. So not too bad reasonable price for only half an ounce. I pretty much got it only because I think it's pretty cool to have a, a Lunar half an ounce coin uh, and definitely one for the collection. My goal is to get all the different uh, sizes. So I thought, yeah, definitely got to get the one ounce. The one that sold out really, really quickly is this one ounce. So only uh, 500,000 minted. So that's still a pretty very high number, 500,000. And for it to be sold out already just shows how popular this Lunar Series is, given that um, it's, we're only in January, uh, February, and it's uh, definitely very collectible. But I don't think this one is going to be long-term, given it's half a million, it's going to be uh, the most value return. Uh, but I think a lot of people are definitely going to want to have at least one ounce of these Lunar Series coins, especially because it's still got the, the Queen on the back as well, which definitely helps it. Uh, they're four nine fine silver, all of these, uh, and this one's a one dollar face value. So very good from that point of view. I do like it how the queen just pop out on there. So I think that's definitely something that's pretty cool to have. Uh, this is my f one of my favourite two ounces. So I know some of the other mints when they do a two ounce coin, normally it's the same kind of size as the one ounce, but just a lot thicker. Where the Perth mint have just done it to similar thickness. Uh, so it's not too much, it's probably a little bit thicker, uh, but it's definitely a lot wider. So it's, as you can see from a size point of view, it definitely is feels like a lot bigger coin to hold in your hand. So from that perspective, I really enjoy it because it, it's nothing like feeling like you've got a really big piece of metal in your hand. So I do like the size of it. And as you can see, it's got a very thick capsule on there as well. So it's got a really thick uh, border on there. So that just adds to that chunkiness uh, feel about this coin. So it's a $2 coin, uh, which is pretty cool. So it's definitely uh, very good to have a $2, two ounce uh, bullion coin. So really like that. But the one that I think is gonna be the most hottest right now, and has been proven to be the most collectible over all the Lunar series to date, because it's been the most sparse one uh, from a production point of view, is this five ounce. So this one is definitely pretty cool to own. Uh, definitely happy to have it. As you can see at the size in my hand, and I've got pretty big hands, it's definitely definitely something to have. And the, the thickness of it as well, you can just see that thickness. Uh, it is absolutely huge to have also. Definitely you can feel the weight of that five full ounces of uh, silver, pure silver in there. So, and this is uh, obviously four nine fine silver as well on top of that. And you have $8 uh, face value. So very, very strange uh, the way they come up with their numbering because one ounce is $1, two ounces is $2. So you'd think a five ounce would be $5, but no, they've gone for an $8. Uh, so it's pretty cool though. So definitely happy to have these. And these have been the most collectible long-term as well. So we're not sure what the full mintage are. So with the half ounce 
the two ounce and the five ounce they have just put unlimited at this point in time and they've come out pretty early this year with the five ounce so we're not sure what the final mintage will end up being overall but it has been the probably the most collectible i'm personally uh in the next month hopefully going to be getting the one kilo so that's currently retailing at one thousand two hundred and twenty six dollars so it's definitely going to be a significant investment uh, from a silver point of view. So that's 32 ounces of silver in one big round uh, coin. So definitely looking to have that as a pretty cool, unique um, piece and to kind of close off this little collection of different size bullion pieces of silver that I'll be looking to collect. Uh, so some of the other prices. So like I said, this one goes for $24. The one ounce went for around $45 at the time of purchase. Uh, this one you can still purchase this roughly at $86 and this chunky five ounce is uh, $216 uh, when I purchased it. So definitely recommend from my perspective uh, to get the five ounce. I think they're definitely pretty cool. And like I said, I'm definitely gonna be getting the one kilo as well just to clean up my collection and have the, the whole lot of them. So I thought I'd also show some of the other ones with the same design. So we've got the gilded one here so you can really see the difference between the bullion version and the gilded version uh, how the design of the dragon just pops up I like it how they've just done the dragon and nothing else so that really makes the dragon just absolutely uh, pop out so you can see it there uh, with the right light it just really makes it stand out the the most and then we've also got the colored proof version so th this one's also pretty uh, neat also you can see that you can see the colors of the dragon there, the dragon looks a bit bigger with the colored version. So uh, obviously to get the design and the print in there. So it definitely uh, helps that design stand out the most. So one other thing that um, I read up on there, it has a obviously a authentication feature. So it's like a micro edge with the in the actual uh, in design. Now one thing they, they use that to stop you from being able to counterfeit it, but for the life of me, I used a magnifying glass, looked all over the coins, back and front, and I could not find it. So if anyone out there has found what the micro engraving is and where it is, uh, let me know, because I've been looking for letters and all sorts of things, just try and find that micro engraving to see. Obviously, I know they're not counterfeit, because I bought these from the Perth Mint, but what kind of thing are we looking for when there is a counterfeit as well? Often there's a, a small number or letter inside one of the, the writing, but... For the life of me, I could not find it on any of these uh, coins. So I know it's there, but I just uh, can't find it. So obviously on the Oddverse, we've still got the Memorial. So this came out in January. I think it was the 17th of January, uh, but yet we've already got the Memorial. So this is the same week that we had the, the King's first FG come out with the Proof Kangaroo. Uh, but it's interesting to note that they're still gonna be using this right up until May, having the, the Queen's Memorial uh, effigy uh, for 2020, 2024 coin. So uh, very surprising that they're still sticking with that, probably because a lot of people aren't big fans potentially of the king and they know that having the queen on the back is probably going to be a better seller uh, than having the king on the back as well. So that'll be interesting to see if that um, comes true or not. So some other fun facts around the Luna series, specifically the dragon, the Luna dragon is a lunar dragon uh, bestows bravery on the people that were born in that year, uh, ambition, intelligence, and good fortune. So I definitely know from a Chinese point of view, they're really looking for that good fortune, that financial point of view. And that's why often these, uh, when it comes to gold, are very collectible to have your bullion uh, with that good fortune. So I can really understand why this is probably one of the most popular characters from a lunar series. So this is the fifth out of the 12 different animals. And I thought I'd also go through some of the key features that we can see on the reverse as well. So obviously we've got the Chinese mythical dragon, stylized waves and fog. So that's what they're calling it. They're calling it stylized waves and fog around the edges here. And it's also got apparently the illusions of control of the elements. So you'll have the air, the fire, the water, and earth as well so it's got all the different elements within it so that's part of the symbolization of this coin and obviously in the bottom here you've got the chinese characters for dragon and then underneath dragon 2024 with the perth mint so 
there are all the different key features uh, within the actual design. And I think it's uh, the best design that I've seen so far. So we've seen a lot of other mints come out with different kind of designs for the, the Lunar series. But the Perth Mint has always been the one that's probably the most desirable and collectible uh, from a bullion and also proof and gold point of view as well. As people like getting the, the gold, even the kilo golds. Can you imagine how much that would cost? Uh, people are definitely looking to collect those and buy those as investment because there is definitely an added premium by having the Lunar Series as well. And like I said, with these one ounces, uh, half a million and already sold out just shows how popular uh, these Lunar Series bullion coins are and how popular the year of the dragon is as well so definitely from my perspective it's definitely a good year to be looking at uh, buying some of these i think especially with the perth mint as well their quality standards are by far probably some of the best in the world probably alongside the canadian mint uh, from a quality standpoint but from the design standpoint i think they they are up there to near the top from a design point of view as well so i would personally recommend the Perth Mint and I'd love to hear what all your feedback is and what's your favorite do you like collecting the bullion what's your favorite size bullion do you think the five ounce is going to be the one that's going to be the most uh, desirable in the long term uh, for collectors and bullion hunters as well or is it going to be the old one ounce What's the two ounce going to be this little secret one that uh, comes out because we've seen a lot of the two ounces in the UK get very popular with the Queen's Beast series as well. So the two ounces have been very popular with those and some of the other different series over there. So it'll be interesting to see if uh, the two ounce is something that's lower minted this year and becomes the one that's uh, more collectible. So we don't know until they release the final numbers, which can take a bit of a bit of time. So it's a bit of a hit and miss, but I think uh, you'll always be safe. From my perspective, getting uh, the Lunar Dragons from the Perth Mint. So please don't forget to click subscribe if you want more videos on coin collecting. Thanks so much for watching and joining the coin collecting community. I'll see you in my next video, Dan. Okay.